Hey guys, how are you? So we are here um, at the art table with the Four Faces journal. So if you're new to this journal and you're new to this little series, then I will uh, link the playlist in the description below. And um, I started working in this little notebook when I started developing these stencils um, of faces. Now they come in, um, I, cu I cut mine apart. Hang on one second. So for those that don't know, I have a line of stencils and stamps that I've designed and have manufactured for me that I sell in my Etsy shop. Uh, the stencil line has, I've kind of lost track. It's over 90 stencils. It might be close to or just over 100 at the moment. Um, this is um four faces one and this is the first one i did as a quick way to just kind of get a face um, or the basics of a face onto your journal pages and into your work um, there are some days i don't want to be bothered to draw a face i want to just paint and stencil and i don't want to do any drawing i do get in moods like that and there are some of you i know that are intimidated to draw faces so i created this stencil and then later on I thought, let's do one more. And they come like this. So here's another one. Fun fact, two of these faces are my face and two of these faces are my husband's. So you have sort of a three quarter and a, and a profile. And they were made this way so you can cut them apart. You can put them in your art journaling and to-go bags, use them in your bullet journals, um, different things like that. You can cut them apart. You can use them as they are in a whole sheet, or you can cut them apart like I've done here. I like to have little small stencils like this that I can carry with me when I'm traveling. Not that I'm doing a lot of that right now. Um, it also is just nice sometimes when you're looking at working in a smaller journal to have this to stencil with and not have to contend with this to stencil with. So anyway, so four faces stencils and we started using them in this journal. I'll do a quick flip through. Different techniques, different ways of using them, creating different faces. They've all been a lot of fun. I do think that one might be my favorite. So I thought we would do another one, but I thought we would do another one and do it a little bit different way. So I've got a little piece of muslin here. Now, if you've been following me on social media, you know I've been doing a lot of stitching lately. That will give you a clue. <laughs> so let me pick one of my faces. Maybe that one. Maybe. Um, maybe that one. Okay, so the, and I'm going to include this video into the slow stitching pay playlist for you all. If you want to, um, you're, you're not interested in painting or stenciling, or maybe you have some stencils left over from trying that, or you do paint, but you want to know how, and you your art journal, and you want to know how to incorporate some of that in your stitching. So you can do this with your stencils. Now, I will admit to you, I've got four of these out because a couple of these are really old. I think this is a really old one. And I don't know which ones still work and which ones don't, but these are fabric marking pens and they go on blue and then when you get it wet, they disappear. This kind of ink is perfect for what we're gonna do um, and because if you don't quite get on the line, it doesn't matter, you just get it wet when you're done and it, it's all gonna go away. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Hopefully this one works, but we'll see. I'm gonna hold my stencil down and I am going to color in the shapes onto the fabric with the fabric marking pen. You of course could use the fabric marking pen again to just draw on the fabric first, but you know, maybe you have a particular stencil design like one of these faces or something else that you just love and you want to you want to put that onto your fabric. Now you could do this with a permanent marking then, pen and then be done with it, but that's not what we're going to do. <laughs> so there you go. Now I have my face on, on the fabric and as long as I don't get it wet, 
it's fairly stable. Okay, now I don't normally do my stitching with an embroidery hoop, but in this case, I think I'm go going to. And we're gonna center that over that part, and then we're gonna put our hoop on. Pull things taut, and center your image, and then tighten it down, oops. tighter okay that's pretty good I think so now we're gonna get some, a needle and thread and we're gonna stitch our face on now again if you are not interested in doing the four faces stitched at all you don't have to you could definitely do this um, by drawing through the stencil you could paint through the stencil on the fabric um, do what you're comfortable with I have this like collection melange of like leftover bits of embroidery thread from different stitching projects. So I'm gonna grab a color that I think might be enough of that one color to do this with. Maybe this green. Let's see, oops. You know, I should put my reading glasses on. They're on the top of my head after all. I'm gonna separate the floss. This one is all six strands of, this is DMC embroidery floss. I'm gonna separate it into at least three. Oops. There we go. Put those up there. Thread my needle. Maybe someday. There we go. Tie a knot in the end. And I'm gonna go up from the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start right here. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna go up from the back. I'm gonna take a small stitch, somewhere between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to come up about equal distance away from where I ended that one. Go back in where I ended that one. That's called, called a back stitch. Let me see if I can zoom in for you all so you can see a little better. There we go. Now again, if you are a painter and a, or a drawer, um, a collage artist, you could um, you could you could draw this onto different kinds of fabric and then cut out the little pieces and collage her face onto the journal page. You could, of course, draw onto the fabric. You could do it on paper. You could sew on paper. There's just so many different ways. I want you all to think about what are the different ways you can use your stencils and your rubber stamps, for that matter, in your art. So I'm going to continue to follow the lines around her face and her neck, her eyebrows, her lips, and I'm gonna get her face all stitched. Stitch, I did some French knots for the eyes. These are called bullion stitch. Um, I do have some other videos in the slow stitch playlist that show kind of how to do these. I'm no expert, people. I'm very rusty with my embroidery, but there are some really great channels out there who show very, detailed instructions on how to do all different kinds of embroidery stitches, including these, and I will link them for you in the description below. We're at the iron because we're gonna get rid of the ink now. So I am, um, and she's wrinkly anyways, so. All right, so uh, the iron is warm and I've got a spray bottle of water. This is the one I use in the art room, obviously, in case all the paint to give you a clue. All I'm gonna do is spray her with water, front and back. Um, you also noticed in the speed through video, if I didn't edit it out, that I did not, my backs are always messy, varied stages of messiness there. I've never been one with a real neat embroidery backs. Um, but I didn't tie off um, all the threads as I was stitching because for me, it's too hard to do it in the hoop. That hoop is actually really small. 
Um, so I just take it off and then I do it. Okay, so all the ink is gone now. So I'm gonna dry her with the iron. Flatten her out. And then we can put her on a journal page. Because who says fabric has to be on fabric? They lied to you if they said that. And yes, my ironing board is very stained because I do this kind of thing to it all the time. So there's all kind of water spots on it. Okay. So there she is looking all cute with her bullion hair. How cute is she? So she would be real cute to add to a slow stitch project any day. I might have to make another one of her. She might have to be something that I do, but I want to add her to our Four Faces notebook. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to unplug the iron and let's go to the other table. Okay, so I've got my little folder of scraps of paper. Um, I need something plain or plain-ish. That might work. Yep. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut off the excess fabric. I'm going to save that because she turned out so cute. I'm thinking I'm going to want to do more. I do make little like machine and hand embroidered little patches every now and then. And then I save them and I use them in other work. Our journal pages, um, slow stitching projects. Sometimes I sell them in my Etsy store. I'm gonna distress the edges like the rest of the edges so it doesn't look freshly cut. So I'm gonna pull some threads out. Okay. Then I'm gonna put this, I think like that. What else do we have in here? So I have these cards I've been using as I've been stitching, been using up some vintage buttons I have in my collection. And I find that the old cards, the buttons were attached to very interesting. So I don't save all of them, but I do save, save some of them. And I think I wanna use those on there. And then, let's see. I think I'm gonna start there. So I'm gonna do this. Staples. I love my staples. I like that little bit of metal in my projects. Okay, and then let's put that one there. And then I think I want to add some washi tape. Okay, hang on, let me get some. Okay, I think I want to use this one, which has some sayings on it and it is uh, muted colors. Uh, it says, so much fun, life is good and uh, a beautiful day. So I think we're gonna put some of this on the background. We're not gonna have it be straight. And then just have it like peeking through. I think we need a couple more. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get that stapled down. 
more staples. This is the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher for those that don't know. back to that tag for my words like even if I just cut the tag there's something about this color of paper I don't know but I think it's too dark so this is my process back and forth back and forth back and forth I have a paler tag that's way too big but I could cut it apart it's the right color though my pen nice big bold black pen and let's see I want to put some staples Okay, need some glue. I'm gonna use some Aileen's tacky glue on the back of that. And right here where there's no staples, we'll put some back there. Okay, there we go. So that's one way, unique way to use the Four Faces stencil, to use it, period, but and to use it in your journal. Also a way to use your slow stitching with your journaling in a new, unique, and different way. And you can make lots of these little embellishments, faces or um, these were made with my rubber stamps and you can use them of course in fabric projects but you can also use them on your journal pages so I encourage you to go out there and experiment if, so if you want your own four faces stencil you can get them using the Etsy shop link in the description below I have a lot of stencils um, so go ahead and browse around and take your time if you want them naked um, put a note in your order and I will refund you $1 for every stencil that you order um, for ordering it naked, which means without packaging. It doesn't mean what you think it is. <laughs> it just means without packaging. Um, so anyway, I hope that you have fun with this, that it gives you some ideas, that it inspires you. And if you can, I do appreciate the support for the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups by shopping in my Etsy shop or supporting me over on Patreon or in YouTube membership here on YouTube or something. Um, and not just for me either. There's a lot of really great creatives out there uh, on the YouTube platform and also on Facebook. Um, they could all use your support. And if you have a way to do that, 
I would suggest that you do, if you can, um, check out their video descriptions. There's probably something in there that's a way that you can support them. If they don't have one, ask. Um, they probably have one and maybe they're just not talking about it. Um, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.